Cyber Heroes were just tired of the Stop having my eyes the scene. The Pokemon stuff is easier to do, okay? Welcome to the sequel to Dawn of the Cyber Heroes. We're gonna have the intro again, I imagine. And and decks have taken the Hopefully, it's an abridged version. Well, then we didn't open on New York Maybe City, so. There's different decks this time. However, duelists have gone to the extreme of wreaking havoc. He said he set up six decks, but we only saw like three or four, so. Imagine this will be some of the other half. They have gone low. Now, Although Retition has replied to my is like well, my previous video, so if you want to see a little behind the scene details, the go ahead and check out the episode, one, episode 1 reaction, of course. As his AI counterpart, Rick preoccupied with trying to save people. The, the nerve. Them trying to make sure the world is a better place. And that is why we ate more AI clones of the Dark Retition. Most of them being armed with water decks. That's what the Vice Fire is. Water Pokemon taught me that. Armed with six of the Dark no, wait, Magician's seven. epic of these decks. More specifically, the ones that the Dark Magician hasn't won anything with. Yeah, he armed you with decks that he's spies, never won with. Make it. <laughs> that makes sense. And hands of danger. I mean, to be fair, it, it makes sense in the theme of like. I guess with the fire kings. We can't just show the same decks over and over again. That does it get boring fast. It does just be like, let's see, he's never one with this. Let's give it a try. Fire. You never know. The reason why these decks were chosen is because the duelists using the fire and the fiend decks have challenged our heroes of this story. I guess that's the finale special thing of Pleasure. Most yeah, you call it six episodes, but there's nine. Actually, there's seven, and the other two are this like bonus things, I guess. It's not a problem that someone just said you six said six, and there's seven. Fibber. Actually, it's technically eight. And if you think of it, if you include Don the Cyber or Heroes with um, right now, Gungnir. The dark magician who fancies himself as a secret agent. Although, do you really count the prequel as an episode? You can, but does it? Must face off against each other. Let the Swiss begin. Will the snake eyes be able to overcome everyone? Or will it go in favor of spying? The music ran out. Find out near the end of the episode. We near the end of the episode. Yep. All right, I have permission to engage. Let's I like go. this. He's got to go secret agent because he's a spy. I like this. This is nice. Also, you look good in a suit. So like I no jokes. Off against this ice barrier guy, and oh my god, he is popping off. <laughs> now I want a James Bond movie with Dark Magician. Okay, maybe not a movie, but maybe like a joke special or something like that. You know? <laughs> guessing he must have misclicked. Dude, imagine a James Bond movie but with Magician. I'd watch that movie or episode or whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. I'd watch it as the point. I can do much. Maybe not as a movie. Maybe just as a one-off. I don't know. Activate assault. It is funny to me how it just like spirals with the most degenerate deck and now it's just like, oh yeah, spirals. I remember them. F Quick Fix, because Quick Fix and Machine Dupe were the problem. Everything else is just kind of there. Also, it bothers me because they had because they start a freaking spy gal thing, and it's not the problem that they had a spy that they had a woman in the spiral arch. It's that they named her Spy Gal, 
and then they just left it alone. It's a, it's it's the manga Ryu Ren of the arch type. It's like, look, we want to include you, but then you put that G in there instead of an R. I see what they went with with the pun, but why? Ooh, ice is nice. This time I'll declare the monster since I know what it is. And if you're gonna do like a freaking include spy gals, at least flesh them out a bit more. Add more to it. Like, don't just include it just so there's a red herring of the group, a redhead stepchild. Go with it. It's like manga real red. Okay, and start making more manga cards. No. Well, they made more manga cards, but not like two manga, that sort of thing. I just mean like, you know what I'm trying to say. I link summon spiral double helix. I'm gonna say, yeah, I, I feel like I'm over explaining. Also, Double Helix is a great card. It, it, it was a limited journey, but every time I see that, oh, I get to think of freaking Kingdom Hearts because I swear it just looks like uh, freaking Xehanort or something. That's Xehanort, Xemnas. Fetch Big Red. That was the uh, big bad of the second game. That'll be enough to defeat me. Um, yes, actually. This what a scratch. Ow. Okay, that's one for spirals. Round two. All right. I want one of the for Game one of these. Like, if he doesn't want a water deck, I just want him to be wearing like swimming goggles and maybe a snorkel. That would be funny. <laughs> I doubt he would actually own them, but just imagine just like him trying to talk through the two of the entire time. Okay, maybe not the entire time, but just like. Hello, I am the Yoshi player. I took. Anyway, uh. <laughs> Damn it. Summon Super Agent. Then. Equip him with Last Resort. Then. Equip him with. Fully Armored. Time to engage in battle. Ah, man! Ah. Damn it. I love doing that. It's like, how do you like it? <laughs> That's I was with the shoes on their foot now, is it? Spiral tough. Let's try a monster this time and target his face style card. Oh, spell. You need a convulsion of nature, my friend. Might run one though, to be fair. <laughs> At least now I know. Let's, let's try this again. I think it. Excuse me. I think at one point Spiral's even read like Ancient Telescope or something like that. Mm. There's all these terrible check your opponent's deck cards just to be like, what you got, punk? I want to make sure I'm right. So Although most Star players are just like, nah, I'll be wrong. That's fine. I'll be wrong once if it means kicking your ass, and that is the rest of the time. Sleep, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep, go sleep. Special summon sleep. All I can think is the fucking uh, this, Hulkbuster this, versus Hulksy from Avengers 2. Quick last resort to him. Activate effects. Targeting himself and his two cards. And Wait, no! <laughs> I had a family! Double helix and sleeper attack. I end my turn. There's other spirals came up with the double sunny idea first. Although theirs isn't a link four. 
Better get having two monsters in the artwork or something new. Gemini Elf is in Gemini Elf freaking invented the concept. <laughs> what if we had two monsters on a card? Breakthrough technology. The world will never be the same again. Later. Gentle. I didn't know the the uh the link water something had like emotions equipped off to it. At least area did. Maybe this was like well no it's green because this uh, this didn't come out that long ago. Is it TCG is it? Alright, first area? mission complete. I gained three points. Yeah, because you're freaking Curb stomped. Alright, I'm up against one of the biggest decks in the meta right now. Are you? Are you at least the water duelist because you're wearing a blue shirt? Luckily, I'm hydrated enough to take them all. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, you wore blue for the water deck, that's fine. First, I'll activate the field spell, Legendary Ocean. Huh, what do you know? Then I activate Fish Sonar. They did give all That's the link, the wind charm, the charm or links, uh, I little height thing things behind them. I mean, I guess you can't really call them the exact same name, it's just I never noticed that, like I knew. Yeah. Right. Right, one's a little nervous day. Even though that makes me like Oh boy, Mermaid Knight. It has 1500 attack points and attacks twice. That's kind of it. It was from the very first uh, structure, well, not the very first structure deck, but the first water structure deck. What's your theme, Umi? And? No, I'm done. Although I, I still love the fact. Oh, great, okay, Snake Eyes. I still always love the fact that the Z freaking made a video where he freaking dunked on Blaze of Destruction structure deck for like 10 minutes straight. It's talked about how crap it was compared to the Umi structure deck. And then he did a freaking deck structure deck duel against another guy who used the Blaze of Destruction deck while he used Ubi. And freaking Blaze of Destruction wiped the floor with him! It was such- it was just such a yes! Justice! It's like, you can't write this stuff! And then end, even he- even he was just like, no, no, this isn't happening, no! Well, the rare time Dazeev shows a motion that isn't mild boredom. There's the snake on Ash. To be fair, I don't dislike Dazeev. It just was just like, could you pretend to show emotion? For God's sake. You don't have to be one of those screaming tubers that does an over the top reaction to everything. It just was just like the droll, bored voice is like, ugh. <sighs> so after all this, you went to SP Little oh, Knight. Very well. I guess I move up my creatures of the deep. I did not know. I was not expecting Little Knight when it first released, well, just because no, I was like, so semicolon P is an archetype now. Great. Not semicolon. It's uh, activate his effect. Just regular Sending colon. Yeah, colon P. Because you know we have IP masquerade. IP masquerade. Now we have SP Little Knight. Great. Is becoming a thing, and they're both kind of toxic. I would me activate C stealth attack. Reactivate it. Then I'll activate fish sonar. <sighs> Mega fortress mm. wheel just for the memes. MK11. Okay. Oh great, it's ambi am Amphibious Burgatrio Mortal Kombat 11. Or Bugro, Bug I, I, I never pronounced its name, I just summoned, I summoned this thing, attack. <laughs> Swear to God, me for some days, I summoned this thing, go. Mermaid Knight can attack twice! Oh, Die! I didn't even need to. 
As long as me space up, it can attack twice. That's the uh, condition. It doesn't attack twice normally. We're alone. Of you saw that too, folks. Or unless I'm covering it. Whoops. I'll free this right. Sorry, folks. Brain it. fart. And then immediately Nor summon legendary fisherman number two because his level was decreased by my ocean. Maybe I can use Daedalus next turn. I don't know. The world may never know, because I sure as heck won't tell them. <laughs> now I'll use the effect of my Doom Kraken. Okay. Ghost Mourner. Oh, great. We are using the intelligent, great cosmic intelligence that had normal summon Ash Blossom. Or was it Ghost Ogre? One of the two. As it would be to negate the attack. Um, I want to summon my boss monster, or one of them anyway. I sacrifice Doom Kraken to tribute summon Leviah Dragon Daedalus. Now, I'll attack you with my fisherman. And why not? I'll use my other Doom Kraken. Oh yes, I see why they didn't bounce. Ah, it's all my fault. <laughs> now I'll set this card and end my turn. Apologies. Oh great. Oh yeah, I can. Activate Rage of Confusion. <laughs> hey Dallas, take us home. I don't think this guy knew what he was what hitting. Him. I'm, now I'm gonna I take on. Well, there's a very good reason for that. It's a Snake Eyes player. They just assume that they know must someone popular in the opponent disconnects. <clears> because the the it's just like I'm not putting him? up this crap. I've they don't actually know how to play the deck, they just, you know, normal summon poplar. Uh, GG, right? What do you mean, round two? So, I the water duelist, huh? Or, what That's do you mean, fine. turn two, I should say? Next round, I'll get to eliminate the primary target. Back with the spirals. <coughs> That's the spy guy I was talking about, he's got in his hand there. Watch him. He, he's gonna cover, hover I'm over the spy gun and get over to be a text that says, Always treat as a spiral it's monster and it looks like an idiot. Fetch. My spiral super agent. Then I'll normal summon my gear drone. Activate drone's effect. Oh! Or maybe I won't. Okay, FQ2. Big red. Big red. To bring it back. I think I can use it again. Yes, I can. That super agent effect. Nope. Or yep. Destroy that face down card. I guess we'll call that one right there. I thought it was purple, but yeah. Off into double heat. Who knows what it was like in your message or face? I don't play spirals, so I should make that clear. I think out of all these things, the one I have the most experience with is Boomy, just because it's so old. Like, I don't know every card, but still. Oh. Double helix and spiral tough. 
Also, I like how his main threat was the Ubi guy, not the Snake Eyes player. It's like, no, 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 that Ubi guy gotta go. And I'll shuffle back my gear drum. <clears throat> I won't need to attack, trust me. I won't pay for Mirror Wall. I won't need to. Yeah, no, it doesn't have a thing. I'm calling her Misty. Yeah, that looks like a Misty if I ever saw one, you know? I know for a fact that the next card is a trap. Drop? Activate Big, Big Red! red bring back my super agent. Uh oh. I thought he borked himself like he has to return only his monsters, like it only returns face up monsters to the hand. Sorry, Fishy. Game one mission complete. So, I wonder what the other deck he's gonna be playing. It's probably not gonna be the snake guys, so it'll probably be the ice barriers if I had to imagine. Hmm. Although, who knows? Maybe the Umi is also playing Ice Barriers. It's a possibility. I don't think they theme very well together, but you know, you can't rule it out entirely until we see it, of course. This will then we can rule it out. Fisherman support just because like legendary fishermen two legendary fishermen three oh, it's like no. what are they movies now what the guys are affected by monster <laughs> effects I have the same reaction when I saw the high speed rider too it's like I laugh at that stuff it's just like I thought we were past the age of Typhon number two like granted it's not a number two it's Roman numerals and everyone just has the number but just like but, but we were past this. We don't have to do this anymore. Somebody <sighs> tell them. It's okay not to... We can name things as other things now. We don't need Neko Gale number two. <laughs> or freaking... Oh, it's Oscalo Hero number two. When there was no Oscalo Hero number one. <laughs> which it just changed to Watt, kid. In which case, no one's gonna play that thing in Watts. But... Yeah. Which way though that the kid got a, a, to be a spirit in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX spirit color, which was neat, you know. They, g they gave spirits to the lesser known cards, which was, you know, cool. I mean, I would have liked the Neos or something like that in there, but I guess they wanted to make it too easy. It's like, because, and plus Jerry Beans Man was the best spirit, let's be real. Helix. Because who doesn't like Jerry Beans Man? Quick fix. And fetch last resort. Now I can finally activate this machine duplication. And here we go. Quick fix. I'm sorry, sir. The test came back. You have cancer. It's this. Hey, just show a picture of this card. Fully armored, fully armed. And you fully have an arm. Congratulations. Or better still, congratulations. They English it. And let's overlay two of them to exceed summon Sylvan Princess Sprite. Fact. Nice suit, nice suit, red. very nice suit. Bring back Spiral Tough. Activate effect again. Um, I assume it's only a moon if Ubi's on the field. Yes. Oh, it does 
that, does it? Can't give him a chance to use it though. these guys. That's got to be enough for game, surely. Boop. 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 Yep, this will finish them off. They don't see a many win- Go ahead, Princess Sprite. You should know for a fact that card does not win many duels. Gotta give it its moment of spotlight. Three more points have been gained. I like to do that with my decks sometimes. Just like, you know what? You, I, I rarely get to win duels with you. Here's your moment to shine. You just, I mean, great, they're all pieces of cardboard, not like living things, but I like to treat them as such. Hi, I'm the Ice Barrier guy. Yep, I, I knew for a fact it wasn't going to be spot up Snake Eye because. It's that spy, but that's about to change. Like, there are more fans of Ice Barriers than Spirals. Counts. Well, <laughs> like, I, you know. I don't need to explain. It's like, I didn't throw out the possibility that it that he could be the snake guys, but you know, sometimes you just know. Did he mean to do that? Probably not. Again, my head camp for the Snake Eyes player. He just assumed normal some popular GG. <laughs> oh, man, uh, I didn't know about that. Oh, neat. Oh, man, oh, maybe, or maybe that's an older card and it's just one of those that just came up. Oh, Defender of the Ice Barrier. I hate that thing. Just because that floodgate effect is actually somewhat relevant sometimes, you know? Just to be like, you can't attack with monsters that are lower than me. But I only have monsters that know! Oh no, it's you can't attack with monsters that are stronger than my defense. But, but I, but, but, but I only, no! You can't, no! I don't have 1900 beat sticks and Solomon greats. Glacial Beast is such a nice archetype that I feel like they had that it was just like left on the cutting room floor. Hold on, but I guess that you gotta have those some series. You gotta just have some cards that's like, look, we're not an archetype. We're just, a, we're just a little bit of support for generic death themes. You know, not everything needs to be archetype. Sometimes you can just have random one off once in a while. Oh no. That's okay. They're Snake Eyes players. I knew they didn't have any skill. Now watch, five years later we're gonna be like, wow, you know what, Snake Eyes players might have been might have been strong for their day, but they really weak when you look at the concept of Yu-Gi-Oh, really they've only gotten weaker over time. That the power creep is that insane. Like Dragon Warriors sorry, Dragon Rulers back in their day were the well, most like almost tier zero. Here. And nowadays they're just mid. That's the power that's just power creep oh. in Yu-Gi-Oh! Looks like playing skill drain didn't pay off. No. What do you know? Taking away the skill didn't work out. Bro thought he was in the Unleashed so Universe. If I activate this. skill drain, I'll negate the skills. No, uh, you'll negate the effects. There's a difference. Guess I'll use his effects. Bye bye. Oh, oh, uh. Uh. Cryomancer. Mm. Eh, no too many cryomancers in mm. here. No, okay, I shouldn't say that. Just, that's, that was exactly correct. It'd be like, there are two cryomancers very often like card games and just like that, just about every card. Well, they, I don't see many support of cryomancy, it's really is pyromancy that you see more of, or necromancy. Cryomancy, 
is the name in of itself lesser known. Well, or maybe I'm talking out my butt, you know. That could be a possibility too. And generate some ice barrier tokens. And again, when I when the new support came out, all I saw was the freaking um, what was it? Hexasphere and stuff like that. I have a lot of options open today. I can bring this out right away if I want to. Yeah, Schmirnoff Dragon, great. That thing is stupid in how good it is. It's just the only. Like synchro, I can see when you Lord activate a card. Like, I can summon a synchro the dragon from my extra deck. Dragon, you what? Also, that's not what's for turn. What? It's what for chain. What? What's why for turn? Oh, ah! Also, I switched your to defense mode. Like, I know it's not the most broken card ever made, and those special summons are not counted as synchro summons. Thank the Lord. But it's still one of those where it just I ran up. There's like, are you what? what when did they get cracked? Solid. I knew the Ice Bear Secrets were support, but holy mother of Moses! Just jeez. Although I still like calling it Smirnoff Dragon. <laughs> yeah, why not? General Gentilda, might as well. Tribute summon that Sacrifice some bitch. Two tokens to tribute summon General Gantalo. Aw oh, man, Spire. you forgot to put in Royal Knight of the Ice Bear. Just so erotic and just like this video. <laughs> and my general. And then my turn there. Still a great bow down. Royal Knight of the fucking Ice Bear. End phase. And bring back my strategist of the Ice Bear. <laughs> That's it. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. Pot of greed. Oh, well, I'll just keep drawing cards. Bitch, that you wish you had one of these. Now, Lord, yeah. Finish him. GG, no real, lol. Oh, this is the worst Snake Oips player ever. Probably. I swear. Well, I finally get some points and tie with the water deck. In the but other water deck, you mean. Match, that's for sure. Then again, again, it was suddenly the prologue that there'd be a lot of uh, water to decks to face the Fire and Fiends. So it's not a surprise that we're seeing some uh, repeats, I mean, you know? Snake eyes. Uh. The target has been acquired, sir. Do oh, I he's just saying that for everyone. Engage. Okay. Yes, sir. Understood. All right. The time has come to face off against this Snake Eyes player. Oh, okay. The uh, the Ice Bear came out about four months ago. Okay. I guess it, that one slipped the mind because uh, Ice Bear is getting additional. I, I guess it came up with Smear Enough Dragon. So. I forgot Oops. about that myself. I just, I just remember the second wave of Ice Spirit. <gasps> well, maybe it was the first wave of Ice Spirit support. I remember the freaking when they introduced the, the Sub Zero Dragon and all that good stuff. And the freaking uh, the redhead that you discard oh, the card so for. I think it was Dan. Not Dan. The, the one you discard a card and thrust them in an Ice Spirit or tuner from the deck and then it gets ek, ek, get out of Texas Spirit because they got Texas Spirit down. too. That back to support. I didn't remember the next wave. Although I got a good friend that plays Ice Barriers, so she was happy. grateful that the Snake Eyes player doesn't know how to play their own deck, otherwise to think the, the, match, the, the Snake Eyes player knew what they were doing, let's be real. Uh, they probably have all of the points, like 12-0. 
Maybe like, okay, maybe like 11 or something like that. They might get a loss. I can see that. That's not unrealistic, but yeah. Assault. They're lucky to run into one that has no idea what they're doing. Spartan tough. Declare spell and target anima. No. Set an end. Show them. So the gear drive and gear drive effect. Yeah, you are not having Ash Blossom. Why would you not know? summon Ash? Moron. Oh, you do that too. I will use to be the freaking degenerate deck, and now, it, it, and now Snake Eyes have that honor. Or dishonor, depending on your point of view. One turn left. You just time, time is everything in Yu-Gi-Oh! Get, or time is relative. Like that. All time heals all wounds. You get what I'm trying to say. Joke's on you. I didn't even activate an imper. Joke's on you. You moron. Although, dear, oh dear. <laughs> now I'm just reminded of that freaking uh, recent -ish underground members episode with uh, the bandless banter cross up designator versus uh, heavy metal pulls electromite that just put out yesterday at time of recording. <laughs> freaking, uh, when you get hit by cross up designator, it's not, it's not just F your plan, Super it's F every plan you've ever had in your entire life. <laughs> Well, that didn't go to the plan. Uh oh, I'm gonna go. Why do you keep summoning Anima when there's nothing on my field? Cause Link! Why do you keep linking away the frickin' goth lady? I will say though, I'm grateful that like I think over 50% of her artwork is just her taking off her mask. Why? Just because I know what the other 50% of the art's gonna be. It's just like usually it's 100% of the okay, 100's too high. 99% of the artwork that's the not safe for work stuff, but her it's taking off her mask. So like, okay, she's got a nice face. Like I don't I don't see it myself, but I'll happily take that over the other 50% because like some of it can just be like oof. Not that I have a problem, but yeah, you know, I don't need to explain it. You know what I'm trying to say. It's important to just say words. At last resort, then activate machine duplication. I'm sorry, it's terminal. Your cancer, that is. Activate. Your cancer, but it's with Activate. it's the uh, Y O U apostrophe R E. Just gear drone and fully armed. Fully armed. Check out this arm. 
overlay to exceed summon Sylvan Princess Sprite. Princess Sprite effect. Well, that was wrong. Goes to gray. That's fine. <laughs> Star Badge is like, of course it was. It's fine. Normal Spiral Tough. Those, those like, of course you got rid of my good stuff. Why wouldn't Snake you? Snake Eye Ash. Ha! Excellent. Now I'll special summon Sleeper by banishing Big Red, Quick Fix, and the other spot. It really was fine. It went all according to plan. Gay Gakudori. With double, uh, last resort. Activate. Target himself and your two monsters and destroy them. Activate fully armed on tough. Link off quick fix into Link Karibo. Now this, if you start with a Link one that Link Karibo for your turn, would make more sense than the Anima. Anima is a turn two card, not a turn one. Unless you're just really desperate for Link material. Trust me, I know. I played Anima in my Skull Servant decks, and now... I have never used it so much that my friends just instinctively move their monsters, their big monsters, away from the extra monsters zone. It's like, Scott damn it! Typhon. No! I can't suck I if they're over there! Dealing with that. <laughs> Is that where you're like, damn it, I went to the well too many times, now they're outsmarting me! They can't be! Oh, this is it. It's like, I taught them to gore. Your style attacks like attack with weakest monster first because Gores might show up. <laughs> now it's just like avoid it. extra monsters out because relinquished anima might show up. Now! Hey. Alright, a showdown between ice and water. You can tell what this one is favorite deck out of this all of these gonna are. Be sweet. That's all pot of greed. But hey, is anyone having a favorite deck? I assume that this is just. I, I think it says this is like only the. Uh, what was it? Not all of them have the exact like ban list. Hmm. Uh, no, yeah. One more time. Not all of them are stripped equal to the ban list to like obey the ban list perfectly. So just like okay, if you're gonna have one ban card, pot of greed makes sense. It's like he's putting an anime card of sanctity or the manga card duel or something. And it's, they're Jill the same card. The one I mean. uh, but Zushin. And yeah, well, it, it's a pot of green. It's like, I don't yeah, get to do sense. this very often. Yeah, so use Zuzin for its intended purpose. You can do that. I always just see it lower the levels and then the like length or sync it off. Wayne to bring it back. I mean, the Guntala. It's fine. Uh, don't worry about it. Oh, thanks. Now my monsters get a buff as, as well. Yeah, water versus water. This is water on water oh, violence. This is up the levels. First one to drown loses. No. I am gonna stop Doom Kraken. Ah oh, man. And I'm gonna stop Cordelus. No. <laughs> I open with two songs, you some bitch. That's how bad I soup. Hmm. I do like how the Seed Stealth Attack has a uh, Legendary Fisherman Attack, so Panther Warrior. Like, that's princess. an anime reference. Like. Well, anime manga reference, but it's, like, it's a good one to store some material without being over the uh, top. Like, you can oh, get okay, it. Even if you, you don't get the reference, you understand. That's okay. Now oh, I'll attack with my General and my Dance Princess. And Link summon in main two. Nice. No, you can't. You can only use each effect of Zen once per turn. And use General Gantala to res my dots, princess. Me me melody. Nothing, huh? Well, 
let's not drag this out. Well, bye. <laughs> Look, I opened Pot of Greed again. So I mean, he hard drew sure. into Pot of Greed last time, but it's a set. Look, top opening Pot of Greed and top decking it when going second is essentially the same thing. Let's be real. That's good. It's like in wrestling with a Royal Robo. It's like, you're number one, you're number two. You basically drew the same number. Medallion to fetch. Revealer. Then I'll play Pot of Greed and draw two cards. Nice. Your revealer, that was the one I was describing. Summon Revealer. Effect. Oh, come on! Oh, you son of a bitch. You suck. Fine. Oh, you I'm suck. You there. absolutely suck. I'm the one who sucks around here. Wait, that didn't Red come out right. Yeah, it makes sense to me. This sounds about right to me. And freezing chains. Bring back Revealer. Can't get rid of her that easily. Much as much, yeah, much as you'd like to try. Let's see. Great old dragon, because it's a water monster. <laughs> it's a level eight. Makes enough sense. Make Gungnir, come on, just make Gungnir happy and summon him once. I'm not saying you gotta win the duel with him or anything like that, just like at least give him. Let him have some of the street. Gungnir is always the forgotten one. Everyone talks about Brionek and Trish, not a lot of talking about Gungnir. And then I synchro summon. There we go! Gungnir. See Gungnir! Yay! He probably won't win the duel with you, but at least you got the CB here. Salvage. In order to salvage these. Effect. <laughs> That's oh, it's such a stinky combo. I activate salvage to add these back salvage. to my hand. Nice. And now I discard nice. them again nice. for Gungnir's effect. Like, oh, you sneak. And then attack. She's just so silly. Why do you want reveal? Why did you oh. take that? How did I lose? Oh, that's While Umi is on the field, this hurricane summon under attack. God damn it! She still attack count as oh, Umi while face up. Trouble. Also, it cannot attack directly. Never mind. What? Doesn't matter now. Why would you link away such a power? So can it not attack directly only when Umi is face up, or does it, like, not at all? I think it's only when Umi is face up, because the, cause the also. Maybe I can get some plays going. I wouldn't put money on that, Chief. Oh, you might be able to buy yourself a little time. Or you can do this. Dude, try to bring out General Guntilda. <laughs> Though I have done that with my frick with some of my side cards. Uh, let's see. Summon the Great of Fire. Activate effect. I'll search my Emerald Eagle and oh right, level four or lower. Damn it. <laughs> now summon Quirements. It's not uh Solomon Great Circle, which lets you search any Solomon Great Super monster. Summon. It's that what you do. Oh Delora, Tiger King. You got the bad Brionic. Man, my friend who liked Ice Bears was so freaking hyped for the Brionic Synchro Monster until the effect came out. It's like, oh no, it sucks. Unfortunately, it's a promo card, so it's. we. <laughs> everyone knew it was gonna suck, but they were in denial. It just yeah, like, oh bye. man. They're like, maybe it'll be good. There's a possibility. No. <laughs> no. I don't think this. It shouldn't. Yeah, no, it, it'll pro it could probably banish the effect to protect itself, but it's not going to. 
Dulorn was Dulorn was made to go to combo with the freaking uh, the ice barrier card behind it. Because if you use them all up, then boom, you could. Uh, okay, mate. If you use them all up, the Dulorn could just bounce them all back and gain 1500 deck points, and then you could use them again. It's a perfect combo. It's one of those like more one you have to think about for a second before you do it. It's not like explaining it to you like on a red carpet like freaking um. We're gonna print Red Eyes Fusion and Red Eyes Dark Dragoon in the same set. You, I wonder what we're trying to tell you. Like this one is like no, no, no. This one requires a little bit of creativity. I'm not saying you have to be freaking Einstein or anything, but just like you just need to have a brain. It doesn't matter. For neck for game. Well, at least we got to see Gung near once. Good for him. The match is mine. So Spiral's dominated. Fortunately, it's not enough to win this whole thing. Oh no! That's just worth glory kill for fifty points. Round, if round, Warren Gunner would have gotten extra points. No points. The water guy has three points. I have six points, and the winner of this mini tournament is Spirals by a landslide. Well, congratulations to the Spiral guy. Um, he's now celebrating with a martini. Stirred, not shaken. <laughs> nice. Uh, I would have made the same joke. Watching, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Alright, that was a good batch of you. Uh, right, outro. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Dark Magician YouTube channel. Yes, please do that. Now, uh. <laughs> That was a good collection of duos. <laughs> Two water decks, but again, we, as said in the intro, there was going to be a focus on water decks to fight the fire, so it's not out of nowhere. <laughs> Plus, one played Umi, one played Ice Bears, and they're the exact same deck. There is some variety here. So, yeah. <laughs> Spyro Show, while they are the real cancer. Snake Eyes, please. <laughs> well, I don't know why everyone's talking about Snake Eyes needing to be banned for. I mean, look at how they play. They're not that good. What's everyone getting into a tizzy about? No, clearly, it's uh, like, no, that that was a freaking, I, yeah, I already head it the heck, but. If Snake Eyes actually played like that, I don't think anyone would be complaining about them. If anything, they'd be complaining about them not having better support. <laughs> Just like, man, you released this archetype, it's half-baked and not very good. What the frick were you, what is this, a video game? A triple-A video game, I should say? Hey. Uh. <laughs> I just thought, uh, Spiral's freaking dominated on that one. I don't think they lost a single duel. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, though, but it just. Uh, uh, everybody went to town on everybody. No one was safe from the wrath of the Spiral Gods. <laughs> Secret Agent Man. But the Umi and Ice Bear is good to see them get a little love, and yeah. And uh, Snake Eyes being idiots is, yeah, I made my peace. <laughs> the guy playing Snake, uh, Snake Eyes, we're totally that, that freaking head concave meme. <laughs> Just like, duh. Dunce cap on the head. I summon Poplar, the Nick Enema, and then end turn. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, it was fun. To check out and fun to see, so good work to Dark Magician. And hopefully, this won't uh, the mix it won't happen again, but maybe I'll have to move the schedules. Yeah. Also, it was good to see Gungnir, good to see him get a little representation. He was in the first Cyber Heroes episode, and now he's in the th second Cyber Well, okay, he's in the episode zero of Cyber Heroes, but now he's in episode two, so good representation. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so it was good to check out, good to see, glad you did out, good work, Magician, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.